Welcome back everyone to the Staatssaal of the Noord Brabants Museum. We are coming to you live for the second day of the semifinals here at the 56th International Vocal Competition Lead Duo in Den Bosch. Last night we heard seven duos perform their hearts out and tonight the remaining six will do their best to convince the jury that they should be admitted to the finals on October 15th. Sunday, October 15th at 4 o'clock in the Fricada Fabrique here in Sertogenbos. Last night and tonight, you will have heard the 2023 compulsory piece, Veronese's Green, composed by Bart Fismon and librettist Mark Pontus. The duo with the best interpretation of this piece will win the Van Riemsdijk Prize at the end of the competition. After the first half of the competition, the first three duos, we will have... Um, we will have interviews with these three duos right here with me. So if you have any questions for them, make sure to put them in the live chat under the video and I will make, make sure to ask them. Additionally, we'll have a longer interview with president of the jury, Baritone Bo Scofus. It was a incredibly insightful interview and you definitely do not want to miss it. After all of the duos have performed, the four finalists will be announced on the International Vocal Competition website, as well as on the Instagram and the Facebook page, so make sure you're following us there so you stay super up to date. I wish you a wonderful evening of Leeds. It's going to be gorgeous, and we can't wait to hear all those duos, as I'm sure you can't either. Have an amazing evening. Genies <laughs> ervan. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening and welcome for those who don't know who I am. My name is Andrew Watts. I'm the General Artistic Director of the International Vocal Competition, Set Organ Boss. Uh, and it's a great pleasure to welcome you all here again this evening. Uh, many faces were here last night and we heard some extraordinary performances uh, and I was tickled pink and spent all night in my bed thinking, wow, these singers, they're amazing, these pianists, goodness. So we're in for a real treat this evening. Uh, I'd like to welcome our jury, of course, as they were the same as yesterday, and they're the same as always, and they're simply sensational. Thank you for being here. And our press jury and our junior jury who are scurrying away and making some really interesting comments. And the, the, the talk of the, the town is really exciting, and I feel that we're in a really good place with the IBC 56 edition in the, the category of lead duo. So I'm not going to say any more. There you are. Thank goodness I hear you say. Apart from, please really have a fantastic evening. You're in for a real treat. At the end of the evening, we will have the jury deliberations as quickly as we possibly can. And then at a certain time, we'll call everyone back in and I will announce who goes to the next round, uh, who has been selected for masterclasses and which particular masterclasses. So there's a little bit of administration to do. So if you can bear with me, that will be great because it's my first time of doing it. Uh, so I wish you a really good evening and uh, I look forward to working with our first participant. Thank you very much.
So it started, this is my song. This way is the world. 
that's where they are. That went well. I never managed it at all. But with you, Molly, oh, don't you know? But that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Now these shoes have started pinching. singing blooms it blooms like a green
Kälteren gibt es das Jobes viel. Da halten sie Hochzeit mit Tanz und mit Spiel. Niemand will ich ein Blinket der Weine so rot. Die Braut nur gleich dem getünchten Tod. nicht Bräutigam ist. Da steht er inmitten der Gäste im Krog und streichen die Geige lustigen Noch. Er streichen die Geige, sein Haar ergraut, schwingen die Seiten gell und tut laut. Er drückt sie ans Herz und achtet es nicht, ob auch sie ins tausend Stücken zerbricht. Es ist gar grausig, wenn einer so stirbt, wenn Junge sein Herz um Freude noch wirbt. Ich mag und will nicht länger es sehen. Was möchte den Kopf mir schwindet verdrehen? Verheißt er mit Fingern zeigen auf mich. But never more return 
Little black thing among the snow, crying, weep, weep in notes of woe. Where are thy father and mother say? They are both gone up to the church to pray. Because I was happy upon the heath and smiled among the winter snow. They clothed me in the clothes of death and taught me to sing the notes of woe. Because I am happy and dance and sing, they think they have done me no injury. 
and are gone to praise God and his priest and king. Who make up a heaven of a misery?
Blumen ließ die Gold über, über, über ließ die Gold über, über ließ, über ließ die, ließ die Gold, Gold, über ließ die Gold, ließ die Gold, ließ die, ließ die Gold, Gold, über, 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 über ließ die, ließ die Gold, ließ die, ließ die, die Gold, 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 ließ die, ließ die Gold, ließ die über, über ließ, über ließ die. Nichts die Gold, übel nichts die Gold. Ob du, ob du mich habe bis an deinem Hals. Ich beiße und treff ich dich nicht, dann dich und frage nicht, was du getan hast. Außer, außer dass du, außer, außer dass du nie. Du mich den Kopf an deinen Hals legen ließest, um deine Finger hin, um deine Finger, um deine Finger hin. In Streichaltern hast du sicher nichts getan. Das ist doch schuld genug, schuld genug. Das ist doch schuld genug, schuld genug. Das ist doch schuld genug, schuld genug.
tijd is begonnen. Dit is mijn lied. Dit is mijn lied. Ik wil mijn familie nogmaals zeggen dat ze niet op de eerste rij moeten gaan zitten. Dit is mijn podium. Deze schoenen zitten goed.
stunning duos once again, and there are still three more to go tonight. I do not understand how the jury is going to decide on only four finalists. It's impossible, but they have to do it somehow. Here at the IVC, we pride ourselves on not being just a competition. We give duos multiple opportunities throughout the week to progress in the festival and hopefully throughout their career. Among these opportunities are the master classes that are given to select duos that do not progress to the finals. The first of which will be given tomorrow at three o'clock by composer Erilyn Wallen. We hope you'll tune in for that. Set the event reminder. I will keep reminding you until you do it. Tomorrow evening, two duo laureates soprano Sofia Burgos and pianist Daniel Gertzenberg, as well as mezzo-soprano Esther Valentin and pianist Anastasia Grishutina will be performing at 8.15 in the Stadtzell. And now, some interviews with the duos that we've just seen perform. Let's have our first duo. I hope they're already here. I heard someone open the door, but I don't think they're actually here yet. So you're just going to have to stick, out, stick it out with me and wait until they are here. We heard Marie Majdowski and pianist Young Sum Jun perform, perform first tonight. So, oh, yes, are you ready? Come on in, come on in. Hi, guys, come on in. Who would like to go first? Marie, yeah? Marie, you went first tonight, we'll get you. Come on. <laughs> and Young Sum, hello, here you go. Yeah, do we have everyone in the frame? Hi, yeah, make sure it's just good. Perfect, perfect, you guys. Hi, how Hi. do you guys feel? Well done, bravi. Grazie. <laughs> we feel hot, actually. Yeah. We were sweating. We feel hot? Yeah. <laughs> it's always hot on stage, yeah. I know, it's terrible. Um, you had to watch all the duos go yesterday, did you not? Were you in the hall? No. We weren't in the hall. We were just sleeping at home. <laughs> you were sleeping. Yeah. Probably yeah. a good choice, I yeah. know. Our condition is better yeah so, yeah you know. I got nervous I'm not even competing but it was some it was some great it was some great duos so um, what was you guys favorite piece to perform uh, today yeah um, was it Zwerg. 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 Yeah. and that's why you put it last of course. Yeah. yeah what's yeah. what is it about that piece that you guys enjoy so much Zwerg, uh, is um, the conflict of, of is right or, yeah uh, or, um, the how can I say that? It's fair. Like the, the conflict between du all the characters. Du sure. Yeah. Dwarf. Yeah. The dwarf. The dwarf and, and the, the queen. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the princess. princess. Yeah. yeah. And then for me also to sing all three roles. So the storyteller and then her and him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you also sing Erkönig? I haven't tried yet, actually. <laughs> Might be a nice one if you oh, enjoy maybe. those characters. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> so how did you guys decide to become a duo? You study together, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we met in Munich just over one year ago, so we we're quite a fresh duo. Yeah, fresh. yeah. Oh, just over a year ago. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And you're both studying the lead, yeah. the yeah. lead master. Yeah, That's I'm doing right. concert, but it's all the same, okay. basically. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys did a great job. Thanks. Thank you. Cross, fingers crossed. <laughs> you did, hold on, wait a second, one more question. Did you do... The Veronese in Dutch. Yeah, oh, and then I heard, I and her then I heard her, and I was like, "Oops!" Um. Oh my God! It, I was very <laughs> impressed. So I knew, of course you're not, of course you're not Dutch, but yeah. you're a German speaker, yes. so it was. I try my best, but more or less close enough. Yeah, we will see. It was very. I mean, it was great. Thank well you. done. Nice. Bravi. Thank you. Bravi. Thank you. Well done. Thank you guys so much for talking to us. Yeah, here I'll take that. Thanks. And let's have the next duo up. All righty, guys, here you go, here you go. Can you guys introduce yourselves for us? Hi, so uh, my name is Benjamin Hewitt Craw. I'm from the United Kingdom originally, and this is Sophie Simeonidis, originally from Georgia, and we both met in Cologne in Germany. Oh, you're both studying there. We're both studying there, exactly. Wonderful, are yeah. you doing your master's or your bachelor? What are you? concert exam so that's yeah. uh, all right I'm finished so uh, I'm, I'm free <laughs> <laughs> and you're just living in Cologne now I'm just living in Cologne yeah freelancer okay working, yeah. and how did you guys hear about the IVC 
Um, that's a very good question. I think I think we followed it for many years. We followed it and seen various different colleagues. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, uh, we're very good friends with Anastasia Grishutina and Esther Valentin oh, okay. Figo, who won last time. Who we'll so see, uh, who we'll see tomorrow. Who we'll see, yes, Wonderful. tomorrow. So, uh, so it's a very nice, uh, nice full circle coming back. Yeah, wonderful. And uh, it's very nice to to uh, see them here and also then follow in their footsteps. Yeah. yeah. Had you guys been to Sertel Humboldt before, to yeah. Holland? No, ho- Holland, I've been, but sh- no. But it's, no? it's a lovely city. That's We've really good. enjoyed looking around the uh, the lovely little streets and the uh, and the basilica as well here. It's fantastic. Have you been inside into the St. John's Cathedral? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very impressive. impressive. I mean, we huh? come from Cologne, so it's it's a high standard we've yeah, got. Exactly. But, it's hard to compete. But it's still, it's still fantastic. It lives up to Cologne. So, yeah. Wonderful. So yeah. tell us a little bit about you guys' program tonight. What was some of your favorite things to do? What? How did you go about putting the program together? Well, I think we decided to pick question, pieces. We decided to pick pieces which were really uh, had their very much their own character. Mm-hmm. And uh, and we wanted to really show a story through each individual piece, mm-hmm. um, but we particularly enjoyed learning and uh, getting to grips with the Libres Eclero, which was our last piece, mm-hmm. which was the piece with uh, lots of time signature changes, and, and it Eggert. was uh, Egat Moritz Egat, yeah, yeah, from from uh, from Munich, uh, where he's a professor. There. <laughs> um, oh, cool! And uh, and nice. yes, and we really enjoyed getting to grips with that because it's a fantastically fun piece and modern piece and. It's been yeah, a very enjoyable it experience. Great. It was really, uh, it was really, I enjoyed it a lot. Well, thank you. It's very kind. <laughs> very enjoyable. One more question. You get to stay with a host family, right? Yeah. You're both staying in the same house or are you in separate houses? And we're staying yes. in the same, same house. house. Okay. How does, how do you like, oh, was your host family here tonight? They were. They, Did you they, to talk to them? They weren't sitting in the front row. Like oh, I said, God. it had to in the very yeah, Thank God. You told them we tried. We, right? we, we tried to sit them a bit further back. <laughs> and they were staying with Lucy and Wim, and they've been wonderful. They've been absolutely fantastic hosts. And, Great. Uh, yeah, just yeah. And, a, and fantastic cook as well. Lucy is a wonderful cook, and we've been enjoying that for the past few days. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. Well, yes. <laughs> well can, I hope you continue to enjoy it. I'll cross my fingers for you guys for the finals. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and our last duo, Eleonora. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Nice to see you again. Hi, Amy. Hi, guys. So you guys are a special duo. I mean, everyone's special. Of course. Are we? It's an extra special duo because you guys live in Holland. Yes, you guys met at the Opera House. Yes. yes. Tell us a little bit about how you got into Leet, since you're quite busy with opera the, the whole day, I would assume. Well, I always really enjoyed lead and um, especially before I got to do more work on the main stage and operas and things like that I was I often do recital work and I love to incorporate lead repertoire um, to present people with uh, a, a rich um, platter uh, in terms of music because um, it's, it, it, there's a different connection between the performer and the text when it's a poem or when it's, you know, a spoken monologue. Um, so I always loved Leet. And then um, I met Amy and we just, you know... <laughs> <laughs> you want to say? Um, well, I'm an opera repetitor and uh, it's nice to play music that's written for my instrument. Which is why I love keeping leader going. Um, I mean, I love playing orchestral reductions and finding ways to do it. But um, when we first decided to enter, I was literally like, I can't change the score around to my liking. I actually have to risk, like, I have to play what's on the page. But it was, it's also very fulfilling because in opera, we're always working towards working with conductors, working with orchestras, working with directors. But presenting a leader recital is our thing mm-hmm. like the two of us get to make that decision yeah. together yeah and we get full responsibility for everything that happens <laughs> <laughs> oh, <double-edged> sword. <laughs> but you guys had some really really cool programming choices really cool songs can you tell us about you told us a little bit about it in your uh, introduction video on instagram if you want to see it and um so yeah tell us about that a little bit well, I think Amy um, is uh, truly the, the genius and mastermind <laughs> behind this. So. We had a spreadsheet. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> we, that we both contributed. We just kept adding songs with like, you know, categories because, um, you know, we're the female composers, which language, which time period. And we just decided to add in everything we'd lo- we find, found and like, and then narrow it down from there. And then pick themes, yeah. Yeah, so we had over 100 songs. Oh and my God. We're still adding because we forgot some. <laughs> Uh-huh. Like, oh, we could have put that in, but, you know, everything was handed in already. So <laughs> Was the spreadsheet for the IVC or this was just when you started for, playing together? Well, it was for the IVC mm-hmm. because then that was when we had to program, right. uh, you know, make a cohesive recite a program as right. such but I'm just very glad I found a duo partner who was willing to endure my type A-ness I was just about to say you <laughs> sound very type A, type a. <laughs> I'm also very much enjoying the matching uh, pants to yes. pants oh, yes. to dress to lip color uh, pants to dress Dunning. to lips to, to walls exactly it's chairs. like you belong here <laughs> carpet. it's yeah. like you belong here yes. <laughs> amazing um did you guys get to enjoy Dimples a little bit? Yes. Yesterday. Of course, because ever since Amy came here, because Amy is an Epicurean mind like mine. <laughs> and so I've been hyping Amy for a little over a year about Boss Bolin. Oh my goodness. I s- it was so good, you guys. So good. Did you have one for yourself? Yes, of There's course. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you expect me to share a dessert? I'm sorry. No, I, you know I never want to assume. Never no, want to um, we, we did our first rehearsal here and then immediately went to Yandekho's and... Yeah. And, and Fantastic. Just, How long was the line? <laughs> well, for the lunchroom, the line is often a little bit shorter. Sometimes it looks really full, but... so. This ah. is for the people at home. If there's there's, a, gr- there's a, a, a traffic light, and if it's green, you can just walk in. Um, but the people who are coming to pick up their bolsa that's usually where the long line is. So yeah. ah. you've got to go in right away. Insider <laughs> tip, so if you're wondering. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I think we have to move on because the intermission is only so long and we still have a longer interview with the president of the jury, Bo Skova. So thank you guys so much. Um, Crossing my fingers for you guys. Brave. Brave. It was wonderful. Thank you. (laughs) Bye. (laughs) I'll take that. All right. So some insider tips (laughs) for Bulsa Bulla from from Amy Chang and Eleonora Wu. For more behind the scenes content with our duos, make sure you're following us on Instagram at International Vocal Competition. The remaining three duos of the semifinals of the 56th International Vocal Competition lead duo will continue after the intermission. But first, like I said, we have an interview with president of the jury, baritone Bo Scovis. Take a look and we'll see you soon. Welcome, everybody. I hope you're enjoying the second day of the semifinals here at the 56th International Vocal Competition Lead Duo. Today, I get the chance to talk to internationally renowned baritone Bo Scovis here with me right now, president of the jury this year. Bo, thank you so much for being here. Please. How are you enjoying Sertogenbosch so far? Sertogenbosch, yeah, very much. It's a beautiful city and uh, I haven't been here before. It's the first time I was here. I've been in Amsterdam many times, but it's so different to Amsterdam. Absolutely. This year. And uh, we just had a fantastic boat trip here. We're yes. Looking at all the mm. secrets of uh, <laughs> of the Togenbosch, and it was so interesting to see how old the city is and, and, and what have what has all been been done here many Indeed. many many years ago. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. So it was very interesting. So I hope it's not the last time I'll come. Well, you still have almost the, the whole week to go, yeah, so you true. can still learn more secrets about Sertogenbos. You have a plethora of operatic repertoire that you've done. You were launched on, into the world uh, when you started at the Volksoper in, in Vienna. Um, it's sort of the main thing that you do, but now we're returning to this very intimate form of, of music, of lead. And both as a jury member and as a performer, how do you... You know, how do you concentrate back down to something so so small in comparison? Well, I, I do sing a lot of recitals myself also, and I've mm. done that uh, th- throughout my whole career because I find that very important to mm. to do because it's uh, musicianship that we don't develop when we do opera. 
because everybody is told by the conductor who is standing in the front and you know doing all all the stuff that he has to do and and we have to follow him you know when you when you're doing recitals you do your own music and you do that with a pianist that you know very well mm -hmm. so you're develop, developing something totally new into into uh, into this and and for me that's always been very important because you know when we have opera we have all the costumes we have a setting we have a director who's telling where, where we have to go and we have the conductor who is standing there and, and screaming at us and uh, <laughs> it is sometimes very difficult to get your own musicality out there yeah. uh, because sometimes you don't agree with the conductor the way he wants it and, yeah. but you have to follow him he's the boss and when we do recitals you're the boss yourself and that mm. is very very important i find would you say it's harder in that sense it is of course much harder it's much harder because you have to take, you have to take the leading ship and you have to you have to lead uh, and you have to show the pianist what you want to do mm. and and uh, it is also, of course, uh, a, a totally another thing because in the opera you have everything surrounded by uh, settings, costumes, and, and, and big things here. There's right. only you and nothing in a dark suit or whatever you have on. And there's only you and the audience. And you have to capture the audience, which is very, 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 very difficult sometimes because people are not used to only using one sense anymore. You know, we are mm. with the mobile phones and we are, well, uh, and, and if some thumba, something in the television is boring and that you don't have. Yeah. Uh, 10 cuts yeah. per second, <laughs> then you just switch to another channel. You switch to the internet on your other exactly. device. Exactly, and this is this is what you can't do there. You have to force people back to use only one sense and just listening, and that's very hard. Yeah, how do you how do you try to do that yourself in your in your performing? You're doing Winterreiser, like the cycle of 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 Lied. How do you? Go about doing that. You know, I've, I haven't. I, I started singing singing Winterreise when I was 50 because I didn't find any any connection with it before. Mm. I've heard it many many times, of course, performed in concert by young singers, and it never it did never say me anything. And I think to sing that cycle, you have to have experienced life, and you have to have been through some crisis and everything. Otherwise, you cannot. Then it's just you know beautiful singing and that's boring it 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 has to be with soul and if there's no soul in it then then it's then it for me it's nothing yeah i love that you say that if it's just beautiful singing it's boring i think we we forget that it's not just about technique all the time you know it's communication Absolutely not. it's, it's yeah. technical it's very very important because mm -hmm. it should be behind everything what you're doing and only with the technique you can do whatever you want to express but it is with soul and 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 thoughts has to be in connected also. Mm -hmm. So you said you started working on Winterreiser when you were 50. Did you also start working on it with Stefan Vladart, who yeah. you'll be performing with? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we worked on it together um, because none of us have done it before. And I think that's also very important. You know, if you come as a singer who has not done it before to a pianist who played it 200 nice. times, okay. then it it's going to be his interpretation and not your own. Mm. And we worked on this together. So we said, look, well, let's try it like this. Let's try it like this. And you know, and and I think our Winterreise is probably, yeah, I mean, it's Winterreise, but it's probably different than than many others would do it. Because I I came to the cycle just to to say also, there's 24 songs. You know, they're all quite sad, all of them. <laughs> But if you start with the first one and you're uh, full of self-pityness with the first song, where do the other 23 go? Where do you go, exactly. So, so it's, there has to be something, some anger and there has to be a lot of, of things in it of that he's, uh, he can't understand. Why, is he, why did that lady, uh, why, why did she leave? Why, why, why was she leaving me? Why? And you know, I think a lot of people think like that. So we just have to get it into our normal life and not say, oh, this is a cycle that, you know, like uh, uh, many years ago. No, it's, it's today. It's mm -hmm. exactly the same feeling that people are having today. Mm -hmm. I full, yeah, fully agree. Um, so you're president of the jury, but you've never 
participated in a competition yourself, is that correct? That is actually true. I never did it. I, I, it was not necessary for me. I mean, times have changed Shocked. totally. I'm, no, times yeah. have changed, I have to say. But there, it's 30, 35 years ago since mm -hmm. I started singing. And it was much easier. That was not the opening to the east at that point. The, the, the wall okay. was still down. So there was not that competition. And it was much, much easier to, to get uh, an audition you know for an opera theater and get an audition for for an orchestra or something like that it was much yeah. more easy now it's really a fight for the young singers and 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 I'm happy I don't have to start now I must say it, it's really really it's tough it's very tough there's so many and and also and also the whole business the whole opera business and the whole concert business has changed a lot now um, when I started, I was lucky that I still had directors in the opera house who were protecting one, you know, that if they were trying to guide you in the right way, what mm. you should sing and, 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 and how you should sing it. Mm -hmm. and, and now, you know, if somebody says no, then it's just out and the next one is in line. So, so there's no protection anymore in the houses. Did you also have a manager who was helping you navigate that? Or yes, I, I had a very good management at that point and I'm still with the same management. I think I'm oh, wow. one of the only one being <laughs> 35 years with the same management. So, uh, so yeah, that, that, is, uh, that, that worked. But now, I mean, I try, I'm teaching a lot now also, and mm -hmm. I'm really trying to help the young singers also to, to get the right way and also get the right technical way into... It's very easy to yeah. get into a theatre if you say, OK, I sing Salome. Everybody wants a very young Salome and, 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 and don't think about that. If you sing that, your voice is ruined. Yeah. So uh, to be very careful also with choices. I mean, absolutely. You really have to go your way slowly in the lyric repertoire and then do you think that singing leads and, and going back and forth between leads, since it's such a smaller, not that you necessarily use your voice differently, but also kind of in a way you do, it's just less demanding. Do you think that helps, you know, the stamina? It is actually, I, I think it's much more difficult to, to sing lead. I mean, big mm. opera singers who just sing loud all the time, I don't want to listen to them singing singing lead song. That's, you know, <laughs> so, um, um, I, I used to, I'm, I'm using it to, 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 as a control point to sing uh, recitals, I am. to see if I've done something wrong to the voice when I'm singing big stuff, you know, like Arabella or, or Wozzeck or mm -hmm. Dr. Schöner, whatever, to see if, if it's still possible, if it's still possible to sing, um, let's say Winterreise or uh, Schöne Müllerin mm -hmm. or, or even Dichterliebe, if it's possible to sing that, then you've done it right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Bo. This has been very very nice very insightful i appreciate so much that you were you took the time to to talk to me today catch both performance together with pianist stefan fladar october 14th at 8 15 right here on the youtube channel you can set an event reminder right now so you definitely don't miss it we can't wait to see you there schubert winterweise it's going to be great
had a dove, and the sweet dove died, and I have thought it died of grieving. Oh, what could it grieve for? Its feet were tied with a silken thread of my own hands weaving. Sweet little red feet, why should you die? Why should you leave me, sweet dove? Why? You lived alone on the forest tree. Why, pretty thing, could you not live with me? I kissed you oft and gave you white bees. Why not live sweetly as in the green trees? What shall I do, my friend, when you are gone forever? My heart is Send through the years to find you never, and how will it be with you in the? And so it started, this is my song. This is my song. I must tell my family again that they should not sit in the front row when they come listen. This is my song. These are comfortable shoes. They beg me for tickets, and then they don't even show up. This song is my song. This stage, this stage is my stage. My This way is the way it ought to be. My voice, my song. 
that's where they are. thought that these shoes would be comfortable. So you're stuck with me now, and so am I by the when they come listen. Veronese. And my singing blooms. It blooms like the green.
Frühlingsabend Dämmerung Und alles Lindes Wien Und alles Lindes Wien Ihr Blüten Bäume Sprecht, sprecht Was tut ihr so Zusammenstehen was tut ihr so zusammenstehen? Vertraut ihr das Geheimnis euch von unserer Liebe süß? Von was fließt dir einander zu von unserer Liebe? Unsere Yeah. 
bit of nonsense with us to row where they can listen. <gasps> Fellow Neasy! Thank <laughs> you. 
Liebchen Zeugen stehen für hundert alle Leute, die ich der Wissende da geben. Weiß recht gut, was das bedeutet. Weiß recht gut, was das bedeutet. Es heißt, ich liebe diesen und nicht etwa hin und jeden. Lasset nur, ihr guten Leute, euer Wunder euer singen. Ja, mit ungeheuren Mächten blicket sie wohl in die Runde. Ihm die nächste süße Stunde, ihm die nächste süße Stunde.
And so it started, this is my song. This is my song. I must tell my family again that they should not sit in the first row when they come listen. This is my stage. These are comfortable shoes. And this is my voice. First they beg me for tickets, and they, they don't even show up. This song is my song. This stage, this stage, this my stage. My voice, my voice, and this way is the Transformation, but still. 
have thought that these shoes would be comfortable.
Halt sich das Korn. Der rote Mond. Schwarzes Gewitter droht über dem Himmel. Das alte Lied der Grille erzählt in Vers. Stille leuchtet die Eine silberne Hand löscht sie aus. Über die Welt sind an jedes Wald, sind an jedes Feld, als die Kreuz und die Quer durch die Dörfer und Stär. Ach, wenn das Männlein sein Rössel nicht hält. Ach, das Rössel ist eilig wie der Stink, ist der Blitz, tät Menschenblut sauf in das Berger für nichts, tät Menschenfleisch fressen, das hält in der Kraft. Und klappen, da rührt alles Kraut. Kein Weib und kein Kind mehr zu so hinausschaut. Da ist alles Leben, keine Blech platzen wird. Und brennen die Häuser wie Holz auf dem Meer. Wir schreien die Menschen, die Bäume und die Stein. Und das feurige Männlein lacht groß. 